All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing a review of messages on the iPod Touch or any iOS 5 device. Um, so I am kind of late on this. Sorry, I've been doing a lot of school and stuff, so I'd just be able to make this video right now. <clears throat> um, but as a lot of you uh, Apple owners know, iOS 5 has uh, been released to the public. Um, iOS 5 is a major update um, that updates the complete system software of the iPod itself. It comes with Notification Center, Messages, Newsstand, and a bunch of new features. Um, so if you don't have it already, I really recommend you go get it. So, but just, I'm going to be really focusing on Messages app down here in the bottom left dock. Um, I will be mainly focusing on that. Um, so yeah, here we go. Um, so Messages is an integrated app. It's stock app, so you automatic you always have it. Um, it the icon is the same on the iPhone, the iPad, and the iPod. There's no difference in that. Um, it's a little green icon with a little uh bubble, a voice bubble. So let's go ahead and just open the app up, and this is what you get. This is the exact same interface as if you would get it on the uh, iPhone or iPad. Um, so this is myself here. Um, I am going to be testing on that. But I'm going to go ahead and go with the options first. Um, here in the top left corner, you can edit. And you can delete them. You can delete all your messages. In the top right, you have a little uh, pad with a pencil. Go ahead and click that. And you can compose a new message. Um, here you can add your contacts. They're all your contacts. You can go ahead and add them. Um, you have a little camera. You can choose choose an existing or take a photo. So yeah. And then it just opens up your camera. And then you have your little space to text and your send button. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and compose a new one. Oh, and then you have your search bar, so you can search for contacts and stuff like that. And you have your messages, and your time is over here. Let's go ahead and compose a new one. Compose this one. I am going to be able, I'm going to be talking to myself. I'm just going to type in, hey, send it. And it pops up. It'll say delivered, and then it'll come up down there for that person. Um, so it was pretty quick here. I mean, that's probably how fast it'll be, even if you are on the other side of the country. I mean, this is quick. This is very fast. Um, but as you see, all it says is delivered. And then if I start typing back, it would say typing, or it'd have three dots down there. But sadly, it does not because. Um, I'm texting myself, but as you see, crap, um, there's no, like, red or anything on there, because you have to go into your settings, go into your settings, you're going to scroll down, crap, scroll down to messages, and you will go to send red resistance, and then always allow others to be notified when you have read their messages. But I am texting myself so there won't be anything that says that. Um, so you can just go ahead and reply, send it back. I mean this is very quick, there's no really lag or anything on it. So yeah, there's basically the messages app. Um, this is a free update. So you won't have to pay for it. So you guys, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.